pressure pull. Fuel pump on. Aileron's into the wind. Low pressure's in the green. Airspeed's alive. 50. Up a little bit, and we're gonna climb out at uh, VY 79. 79 VY climb up to 1540 feet. Let's do a 500-foot turnaround. Let's do that. More, more of the critical one. Whoa! Big headwind climb there. So that five, uh, when we get to uh, 1,040 feet, we'll cut the power, count to three, and uh, coordinated steep turn back in. I freak this at home. 1,000, 2,000, 3, 1,000. Uh, turning back, nose down, airspeed coordinated, not uh, too much rudder. I have regular traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec simulated uh, engine out, turn back to landing runway 26 for Rego. Best glide, best glide. Alright, see, we got the runway made, so let's just dump the flaps in. See, if anything, you got to worry about overshooting when you turn back because you got a tailwind now. You know that's... going eastbound. Just going eastbound. Alright, Roger. Uh, there's only me in the area, and uh, I'm uh, Cherokee 54 Quebec. I'll be taking runway 8 for uh, departure, simulated engine failure, back to runway 26, Brego traffic, 54 Quebec. Copy that. All right, fuel pump is on, flaps are down. All right, oil pressure's good, mixture's up, fuel pump is on, full power. It's uh, 10.51 a.m., we got plenty of time. We got an hour, another hour if we really want to stay around here. Shimmy on this airplane, gotta get the nose wheel off a little early. Here comes 50 knots, went out of the right. It's a little difficult to get it airborne at 50 knots. Seems like it prefers around 55 knots, maybe 60. Alright, so we're climbing at VY 79 knots, trying to at least. Airspeed's kind of bouncing around. Um, I guess we should have turned it into the wind. We turned left that time. Maybe we should turn right off the turn back. But uh, this time we're going to go up to 1,000 feet AGL. That's going to be 1,540 feet. And uh, I bet you what the problem that we're going to have is we're going to be too high. It's going to be way too high. Another thing to consider is the length of the runway. We landed about halfway down a 5,000 foot runway. What if you took off uh, from a 2,000 foot runway? It's, uh, on a long runway, you might be high, but that might be okay. On a short runway, you could be short of the runway. All right, approaching 1,200 feet VY here. Not flying a straight line, we'll try to correct that. Oh yeah, we are. We're doing okay. B 
DY, about a little more than 100 feet to go. San Diego Springs traffic, Cherokee 54 go back up window runway 8. We're going to be turning back uh, simulated into failure, failure into runway 26, San Diego Springs. There's uh, 1,540 feet, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, okay. Hey, Clark, let's go Unicom, Arrow 8852 Mark, Charlie's 20 miles to the west, uh, can I get winds inactive? Gotta be careful of airspeed, and keep that steep bank in. If anything, we are high. Let's try to land on the 1,000 foot marker. Whiskey Bravo, military hangar. If it was a 2,000 foot runway, I probably wouldn't put any flaps in at all, but we would make it. Um, or flaps 10 and we would make it. And let's go Unicom, Arrow 885G Charlie is now 15 to the west, just bound for landing. Can I get the uh, winds in the active runway? Borrego traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec, short final 26 Borrego. Pretty good here. Oh, now maybe we're gonna, starting to be a little shy. No, I think we're doing. We're gonna land on that thousand foot marker. Maybe a little shy. Maybe a little short. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, Borrego traffic. You got a uh, sky van. Uh, eight miles to the northeast and bound for Borrego. Two six. Yeah, it really floated. Ah, there's the thousand foot markers. All right. Wind off the left. Even though it's a tailwind, we want to go into the wind because we have a relative uh, headwind right now until we start slowing down. And then uh, now we can go forward and right. Oh, we got a shimmy on this damn plane. going to be departing, uh, taking off runway 8, simulated engine failure back into runway 26, Borrego Springs traffic. Alright, 3,000 feet to go. Looks like it's a normal takeoff here. We're going to climb up to 500 feet AGL. Maybe we should do like 400 feet. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Nine 40. 920 or so. Uh, eight minutes. Eight, maybe nine. Look at that, thank you. Find me, uh, 79 knots. Go up to 920 feet. Cut the power. Count 1 1,000 and turn back immediately, as if I was ready for it. This is a 400 foot AGL turnaround. Okay, engine failure. Turning back. Turning back. Turning back. Not too much. Chirping, uh, air, uh, stall horns chirping. I'm actually going to be high, a little high, not too much. No, we're going to be all right. We're going to kind of land it. Whiskey Bravo, this is Raptor with Z Side Radio Check. And that Raptor with you, Bravo. We got you loud, clear. Two two. We're going to land on the. Uh, well, we're simulating as if it's a 3,000 foot runway, so we can kind of land anywhere beyond the beyond the beginning of the runway. So we have the runway made, full flaps, 70 knots, coming in. A little fast, yeah, I'm fast, I'm floating. There's a thousand feet. I had to come to a stop before the uh, whoop, before the two marker, because on the other side of the two marker says three. That's where we took off from. 
Right, did I damage the uh, nose? No? I don't think. And uh, was that an aircraft in Mount Barbarigo? This is Cherokee 54 Quebec back on the ground. I didn't hear anybody. And Brago traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec, taking off runway 8, simulated engine failure after departure, uh, returning to 26 Brago. Airspeed's alive, all pressure's in the green. 55. Airborne 60. All pressures in the green. 70. And radio traffic, we got Scott Havana Progress, 12,000 feet and below, 2.5 miles south of the airport. About 300 feet AGL, so we're going to go up to. Uh, 8.20 and do a simulated turn back. And Brago Springs traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec, uh, returning to 26. Brago. It's all good. I'm skidding a little bit. Is that a stall horn? Oh, we're barely going to make it. Barely, barely, barely. Trim up. 73. Want to go a little faster. We're going to make it, but just barely. Not not too much uh, margin there. Variable at 6 knots. Visibility at about more six than knots wind. one zero. Sky condition clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature and we landed at 1,000 foot seven. markers. Line brakes. Wow, that was intense. Five hundred thirty feet. We're going to go up to nine hundred thirty feet. Turn around. Cherokee 54 Quebec uh, taking off runway 8. We're actually going to do a simulated engine failure return to 26 after departure. Borrego traffic. Do a normal climb out, don't think too much about the airspeed like you would. Uh, uh, I guess we do a VY. Oh, we're gonna get, kind of getting a downdraft. It wasn't going, it wasn't climbing for a little bit. Actually, let's go up to 500 feet. Uh, 600 feet. 600 feet, turn around. See if we're too high. So 600 feet is going to be t uh, 20 feet above uh, 1100. And there it is. All right. Oh, turning around. And Borrego Springs traffic. Cherokee 54 Quebec returning to 26, landing 26 Borrego. I'm skidding the turn, that's not good. Don't skid the turn like me. Okay, looks like we have got it made. This would be a nervous, uh, <laughs> a nervous view if we just took off of Montgomery. I simulated a 3,400 foot runway like Montgomery. It is a hotter day, so we didn't climb as much as maybe we would at uh, Montgomery. We're high. 
I say the uh, third stripe is my landing point, my touchdown point. Elevator back, back pressure. Uh, returning the flaps down. Fuel pump is on, mixture's rich. Not visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature 3, 7 Celsius. Dew point minus 3 Celsius. Altimeter 2, 9 or 8, 6 inches of mercury. Remark. And bring us traffic, Cherokee 5 4 Quebec on runway 8. Taking off runway 8 so will be straight out to, with a engine sim, uh, simulated engine failure back into 2 6 Borrego. Eleven thirty-six. Let's make this the last one. I've been saying that for a while, but I have too much fun. Okay, this time we're going to climb up to a thousand feet AGL, so fifteen hundred and twenty. And we're going to see how much like slipping it takes to get us back down. Uh, I imagine we're going to be high. We simulated about a 3,200 foot runway. I wasn't being precise, but uh, 3,200 feet. At Montgomery, if you're taking off of runway 28 left, it's 3,400 feet. And if you're taking off a 28 right, it's more than that, because they have a displaced threshold, I think of about 1,000 feet, I want to say. So I'm not sure what the uh, displaced threshold is at uh, Montgomery. I don't want to look it up right this second. Climbing at 79 VY, we got 700 to 800 feet a minute. Flying into the wind, which is helping that climb rate. About 500 feet to go. We'll try to make a radio call 100 feet before so people know. is upwind of runway 8. We're going to be turning back around, simulated engine failure, landing 26 6 Borrego. 100 feet to go. Haven't been tracking quite a straight line. And there's a thousand. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, okay, we'll turn. Deep turn. It's all about memorizing that pitch angle. This is why we're practicing it. You don't want to go too far down. You kind of want the stall horn just to barely chirp on. If it does chirp on, just release a little bit of back pressure. Deep turn is important. So this case is a little interesting. I'm wondering if we're even going to make it here. We're, a little, we're so far out. 73, please. We got a little bit of a tailwind, so maybe we go a little less. We go 70. 71. Oh boy, this is uh, uh, not looking good. Very, it's gonna be very close. Maybe my technique of the turn wasn't good. Now we really need that tailwind pushing us into the runway. I don't think we're gonna make it, no. We're not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. We're just sinking. Sinking, 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 sinking. Not gonna make it. Thousand feet short, 500 feet short. Now that's interesting. See, we followed the FAA's like recommendation 
of a thousand feet. And what did that get us? Not back to the runway. There's a glide path. Fixture ridge, fuel pump is on. Hope I got that on video. GoPro still going. Camera, not sure about, not gonna worry about. Still pointing the right way. And there we go, traffic Cherokee, 5 4 Quebec. Departing runway 8. We're gonna go upwind and have a simulated engine failure landing 2 6 Borrego. Twenty feet elevation. Airspeed's alive, all pressures in the green. Fifty five, rotate. Off it off the ground. Climbing, trying to climb at VY, 79. And what altitude are we going to go up to? Oh. Let's try the 1,000 feet again. So we're going to go up to 1,520 feet. I think I prefer turning left because when I turn right, it seems like the airplane doesn't need any rudder at all, which is a little weird. Maybe it's just out of rudder trim. Rudder trim is not set right. But turning left, I feel like I could really crank it in on left and I'm not uh, skidding the turn. So I'm going to do a left turn. Maybe we'll do a right turn because maybe, maybe the left turn is what, uh, you know, hurt us there on the last shot. So we got 100 feet to go. Very good traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec, upwind of runway eight. We're gonna be turning back around, simulated engine failure, landing 26 6 Borrego. Yeah, I'm like leveling off because the airspeed's not there. A lot of thermal activity going on, which kind of throws a wrench in the calculation there. Um, there's our altitude. Nose down, banking. Uh, get it. I'm using no ru right rudder, no rudder. I'm using left rudder. Not skid. Okay, best glide. Another one of those situations where I'm, I'm not sure we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Fuel pump is on. Car beat is simulated on. Fuel sele uh, selector we're going to switch. And now we're focused on landing. We are just... No way we're going to make it. No way. Adding power. 
Tampa Rego traffic, Cherokee 54 Quebec is uh, short final for 26. We're going to do a go around to part to the west, Borrego.